Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Blowout Gaming. This is Zach B, and we are coming at you with another tips episode today here on Crystal Isles. Today, you can see that we are all about the Honey Cave. And you know what? I think this is pretty cool because it literally glows even in the dark <laughs> during the nighttime. I think this Crystal Isles map is so much brighter than all these other maps. I love it. So as you guys can see, the Honey Cave is one of the new additions to the Crystal Isles map, and it's exactly exactly what the name describes. It is a cave of honey, literally dripping from the ceiling uh, and from the floors, honeycombs to the sky, and uh, bees and bears everywhere. It's pretty cool. I mean, this is a very, very sizable cave, as you can see. I mean, it literally has multiple levels um, and honey just absolutely everywhere. Now, these smaller honeycombs are harvestable. So if you go ahead and pull out your pickaxe, you can actually chop these down and collect up polymer, honey, and rare flowers. Now, I'm not going to do that currently because once you do tear apart one of these uh, honeycombs, all of the bees in the vicinity absolutely go nuts and chase you down. Well, you know what? Let's just show you. Literally, look at the whole room. I have the attention of the whole room. Hello. Oh, look at all the bees. So, guys, I mean, obviously, I'm in creative mode flying around, but you can see this is no joke with the bees. Holy smokes. I don't even know how you would deal with these, honestly. It is a swarm. And then, if that's not bad enough, you also have dire bears all over the ground who are going to want to charge at you as well so literally this is actually a really dangerous place look at that horde that is super freaky like i said you guys are going to get organic polymer honey uh like by the jar full and then you're also going to get uh rare flowers from this place so this cave has a few different entrances uh the first entrance here is basically 32 32 down on the ground now a secondary entrance is just over here to the side again it's all going to depend on where you spawn in now this one there isn't anything lower it's actually kind of down in this crevice area um, and this area kind of winds all through these redwoods um, but you'll see this area here again this one even glows even more because there's not as many rocks um, and trees blocking it roundabouts 30.7 30.5 so that's where you're going to find the second entrance and then this entrance is going to be 32.6 31 and this is the entrance that I might recommend actually uh, if people are a little bit lower level want to come in grab some honey and kind of run uh, because it does look like there are a little bit less bees up here and dire bears uh, down here kind of in the middle of the cave you'll see a lot more of the concentration of bees and bears um, now we also have an above ground entrance now this entrance is a little bit easier to spot um, from up above in the air um, but you obviously do have to make sure that it spawns in. But right here, you're going to find that actually at 31.4, 31.1. So, again, try to be as you know specific as we can so that you guys can find this easily on your own. 31.2, 31.1, somewhere around there. Now, something that I found particularly interesting about this cave was there was actually another entrance to it all the way down here through the water. Now, this cave here actually does lead out to the ocean. Um, the entrance I'm actually going to show you on the other side so that if you're not already in the honey cave trying to get out, you can get in. But I do like the fact that you can get in on foot, in the air, on a ground mount, 
or a water mount. So I think that's a pretty versatile cave. In fact, I'm sure some of the PvP players are going to be utilizing this cave because the end of this tunnel is a single entrance that's easily covered. So I'll show you. This is the honey cave. Like I said, we'll jump out from the top there. Now, this is the honey cave. The tunnel actually runs the entirety of the forest all the way down to the ocean over here. So if you come down all the way over here, you'll notice this beach area. And if you go down into the water right here by this beach area, you will notice, holy eels. Now, this entrance is 39.1, 19.3. You can see it there on the GPS. And this tunnel, I'm not going to go all the way down because, like I said, it's extremely long. Runs all the way back to the honey tunnel. Oh, man. This is going to suck. All right, so we're not going to go back in the water. I'll just go ahead and finish that up. That tunnel is going to run from here all the way back to that honey cave. And like I said, it's just that solo underwater entrance, which I think is pretty fantastic. And it's extremely long. Um, also, side note about this tunnel, it is full of oil, silica pearls, and element or. So hopefully this video helps you out. Um, I definitely was a little bit confused when I first walked in there, but really, really cool addition to this map. Absolutely. So definitely make sure to hit that like button for me if you have not already done so. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.